So whether you're hitting a driver, hitting a wedge, or whatever shot you're going to hit, make mm. your practice swing to the side of the golf ball there, mm. and make sure when you come back, you come back the same bit of mat that you started with, or a bit of grass in this case, yeah. and swing through, and allow the right side to go through. How much movement through the ball will be dependent on how far the shot is. Yeah. But I think for a 50, 60 yard shot that you had, there needs to be some sort of move. If we look at this swing here now, we go to start. Okay, there's get line. There's kind of your your club there. Mm. If we swing back here now, you come back inside. This foot doesn't move. It all looks very again head looking down, yeah, arms yeah, quite yeah. cramped. Yeah, yeah. That was basically just a swipe with the arms because yeah. the, this right side hasn't really rotated through with the shot. Yeah. The arms just can't get out there. So they've got to find somewhere else to go. They just pull into the body. Yeah. Now when the ball's there, and you've got to try and reach it. Yeah. You might overreach. Yeah. under reach or reach perfectly yeah. but you're always guessing on yeah. the three one of the three yeah. things okay yeah. and that's where if you get the same shot over and over again mm. you'll kind of realize like what's that fit i got if i do just this amount of reach which would be i don't know an inch or so yeah you'll get a good shot so mm. shots one to seven one to ten whatever it may be mm. are a bit mm, kind of finding it and then mm. once you found that feeling boom 11 12 30 mm. i'm on fire mm. i'm zoned in on that target mm. which is great mm. but then when you're on the golf course yeah they haven't got those 11 12 shots so they have that yeah. luxury to to yeah. find target okay so try to allow your body to rotate through and then we set the golf ball there now you can set up with the same good sort of set up as we had taking the golf club back nicely nice folding with that right i'm not getting too locked and too stiff the arms and body can go back. We can strike the golf ball nicely there now, and the right side. That for me is enough movement. You can sort of turn it through yeah, there. Yeah. That's fine. There's yeah. just a little bit of movement. Heads following the shot. You look a lot freer there. Yeah. The club now is sort of well away from your body there, nice and free to swing through. Where if we look at this one on the left hand side, if I clear these lines as we swing back, right sort of looks a little bit sort of popping up and a bit sort of cramped there as we yeah, swing yeah. through. It's all a bit tight and a bit cramped. Hands yeah, are very yeah. close to your body, and this foot hasn't even moved at all so your right yeah, hips yeah. unable to move as much your shoulders then going more but your knees yeah. so all these different body yeah, parts yeah. aren't really working in sync yeah. which is why it was a bit uncomfortable sometimes when you hit a few bad shots and yeah. generally you'll find with this sort of motion because the hands and the body are swinging faster mm. you'll flip a few shots to the left or yeah. hit the club behind the golf ball yeah yeah okay so you hit the ground early and stuff mm. and then and obviously hook it to the target to the left of the target so so make sure we make our practice swing as we set up to the side of the golf ball we make practice swings the length of shot you want to try and hit mm. with a nice free flowing movement through the golf allow everything to move don't independently move the right foot yeah just allow the right foot to move due to the rotation of your right knee and right hip yeah. and heel comes if you try to keep him down everything else can't move fluidly and then your top arm just swipes at the golf ball yeah, yeah. which then feels too quick yeah okay yeah so you get that allow the body to move and you swing them back and forth that's the golf ball picking your target and we can judge the distance by swinging back and through allowing the movement to be more free flowing if it's a shorter shot to say here or with a tight it'd be a smaller swing so the yeah. right foot may not move as much but yeah. in reality there's still going to be some kind of just movement through yeah. the ankle you're yeah. not going to keep you keep yeah. that locked and then just <laughs> yeah. try and flick the right arm there to target because if this heel stays on the ground and as we said the more shots you hit repeatedly from the same spot that right one was just like quicksand just keeps yeah. sinking into the mat okay. there yeah. and it'll get heavier and heavier and heavier and worse and worse and worse yeah. so yeah okay okay yeah, but that'll be the same thing with all clubs through driver through yeah. the bag okay your driving here is pretty good the yeah. first one was good, but you didn't aim at anything. Yeah. So it was a good contact. Yeah. Then when you did aim, you got towards the 150 sign, the 100 sign, you were pretty good, okay? Yeah. The one that you hit really bad, yeah. as you could see, of all the six shots you hit was the one you thought the most. You were there saying, is the ball position there? Yeah. And you're moving around, you're shuffling left, right and centre. You actually got it into a pretty good spot. But because your brain was still in that thought pressure, is the right yeah, spot yeah. here, moving back, moving here, moving left and right, and then try to swing at it, it was like, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. just all over the place, and the ball then goes this way through your left leg. So yeah. so it's making sure when you're setting up to a golf ball, you're not clear of your head. There's got to be a specific thought, yeah. whether that's that sort of softening, as that Ryan we said, or mm. releasing that body through and allowing that right hip to go, whatever it may be. We can't completely blank it, but don't have 25 thoughts. In. Is it left heel? Am I wet on the left side? Am I too close? Am I too far? Where's the right heel? Am I going back here? Add these thoughts, and then you stiffen up anyway. It's going to get worse and worse. Okie dokie, David. Make sense? Yeah, that's Good great. stuff.